Oh hey, it's you. I didn't know if you were gonna make it and I really didn't want to start without you, but you're here now and that's all that matters. Once again, you'll be not surprised to hear, I have seen and done and burned many wonderful things out here in the magnificent Black Rock Desert under the magnificent skies of the Black Rock Desert. I've done a lot of cool stuff and I wanna share it with you, so, can we do this? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Let's go and do some Burning Man right now. Well, we are from a French company with the color wheels and we are here to get the people to dance with us in the big wheels behind, behind me with lights and music, techno music in a procession, a parade at each sundown and to a final elevation point and then we will try as long as possible to do that each night. In France we have uh, color tissues in okay. the wheel. That's why it was called first color wheels, uh -huh. in fact. But here for Burning Man, because of the wind, we could not. So we had to change and to be closer to the, to the main theme, High Robot, to have the sparkling effect right. of the of the race. Well, the lights bring a different dimension to it anyway. Oh, yeah, and the place brings a Right, difference. because I would presume in Europe, you're never going to have this much open of course, space. Of course, it was always in the big, big towns, in the right. urban, environment it's very different so you just take it down a street yeah in the street sometimes you have cities that the people are allowed to come and dance with us in the middle and sometimes you have you know all along the, um, the sort of security barrier uh -huh. it depends and here it's totally free and the space the desert give another dimension to, to the wheels right is this your first time at burning man we are all virgins you're yes. all first time and, and what's your impression of so far wow that's crazy world dreamy world People are lovely everywhere. Uh -huh. everywhere. Yeah. Are, you, are you one of the pilots? I'm the DJ. You're the DJ? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but my dream is to push the wheel. Your dream is, did they not let you push the wheel yet? <laughs> I did yesterday night because one of our friends was too tired, so I helped. I was happy. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
much less sketchy. It's like you're progressively getting safer. Right then, this year's finger severing machine at Burning Man is an idiots versus gravity machine. I think if we wait long enough, we'll see that gravity will in the end win and someone will fall off. But there's too much stuff to do, so we're just going to have to give them 30 seconds, see if someone falls off. 29, 28, 27. Ah, screw this. Anyway, this year's uh, exercise in bad decision making at Burning Man, right behind me. I'm not going up there, obviously. Not even for your benefit. A man has some limits. Tell me how the sky's looking. The sky's oh looking gosh. awesome. Have we talked about the sky yet today? I know in every YouTube video we've got to talk about how beautiful the sky looks. But look at it. Will you look at how fucking beautiful the sky looks today? I will, I will find the sky if you ask me right now. It will, be, it will get physical with the sky. Hi, my name is uh, Jakob Lange, I'm an architect, and this is uh, the construction of the orb. Uh, the orb is a uh, um, 75 feet in diameter mirror sphere that's going to hover above the playa and reflect everything that's going to happen on the ground onto the playa. So uh, all the sort of the lights, the, the parties, the, uh, all the, the, the activities that go on on the surface is essentially going to be the art piece on the mirror sphere. And where did this idea come to you? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, uh, I think last year we were sketching on a dusty windscreen and we were thinking about uh, we wanna, if we want to make an impact, uh, what should it be? What kind of art piece should we bring and contribute to, uh, to this amazing festival? No, so this is a 60 ton piece, uh, all the metal, so uh, most of the work goes on in securing this base to the ground and then we are going to attach this inclined uh, mast uh, too, so it's almost 100 feet tall. We have never assembled it completely, so it, we've never put the mast and the base and the sphere together. We have inflated the sphere uh, held by two cranes and this is the first time that we put all this metal together. Luckily uh, most of it fits, so I think we are good on time. Excellent. All right. Good luck with that. And it's not going to blow away. There's no chance of it blowing away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it can take like very very strong winds. Uh, yeah. Ready? One, two. Yeah. Let's, Let's go, go do, do some, some Burning Man, Man right now. now. Right then, you know how I don't do lines at Burning Man? Well, I just did a line at Burning Man for a hot dog. This is the first and last time this is ever going to happen, so here's to lines at Burning Man and hot dogs. Thanks, barter dog guy. Yeah? Mm. The hot dog guy? Oh my god, what? Mm. Delicious. This seemed like a really bad idea, and I think it was, in fact, a really bad idea! <laughs> Whoa! Right, let's not do this. Ah, oh boy. Right then, that was something else I did. More for your benefit than mine. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I risked life, limb, and mostly testicles to pull that one off. Right now, right now the sky looks 
amazingly dusty for the most part. Let's go do some Burning Man right now. We give away costumes on Playa and we're all about street theater and spontaneous um, costuming and just making fun of everything and basically keeping everything lighthearted. Costume Cult offers a transformative experience when you come on Playa. We'd love to have you join us. Um, we get over a thousand visitors each day. A lot of people, many people who've never been to the burn, go through our costume tent and pick out things that they would probably never wear in real life, or maybe they do, I don't know. We have an enormous 40 by 20 tent that we completely fill from ceiling to wall, full of costumes. We never have what you want, we have exactly what you need. No matter who you are, you can slap on your uh, you know, if you see like a spandex onesie or a Snow White outfit, whatever it is, you think it looks good on you, it, it does. And we have people, you know, helping you out with your look. Whatever you see that you like, you can um, take it and it's yours. We also have a runway where people will uh, announce you. There's an MC with a sound system, music. There are people watching you and cheering you on and you're dancing and you're wearing this crazy outfit. And it's one of those moments where you're on playa and you're like, oh my God, like what is happening right now? How did I get here? And so it's just a way to be silly, to just really let go of who you thought you were, who you think you need to be or who you identify as and just have fun and play and explore. Um, a lot of people at the burn are worried about, do I look like a burner? Do I look ravey? Do I look hot? Do I look cute? And it's really not about that. It's just about what are you feeling right now? How do you want to play? How do you want to be silly? How do you want to break boundaries and try something new and not be judged for it at all? In fact, people are going to cheer you on and maybe you'll find a little bit about yourself. So that's what we're about. Hello. Is this a... That's yours. Oh, look at that. I got a... Is this got cucumber water in it? Yes. So gun made fresh from pink heart. <laughs> awesome. And bartender. And bartender. Thank you, bartender. Let's see how I do with cucumber water. Because cucumber is my least favourite food in the whole wide world. <laughs> but get out of your comfort zone, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's drinkable because it's cold and we're in the desert, but... <laughs> the cucumber's not adding anything good. Let me, let's be clear, it's not improving it. I'm Halcyon from Pink Heart Camp, and now is the reoccurring segment on Mark's videos where I educate Mark on some principles. Mark, have you been following the principles? I have, you know, I got off my bike yesterday, even though I was in a hurry, and I saw a cigarette butt, and I stopped my bike, and I got off, and I picked it up, and I told everybody in camp that I had picked up a cigarette butt. whoop de doo You do yeah. not get an award for picking that move. That's baseline. The principles are what we do as an expectation for how we are good citizens in this community. Leaving no trace is baseline. baseline. Spend the rest of your day atoning for your sins. I'll do my some more move, brother. All right, set up, do the thing, set the figure. All right, now it's time for a flashback. <laughs> Wait a minute, what just happened? We were at Burning Man a minute ago, and now where are we? We're outside the Empire store on our way to Burning Man. Uh, this is the bit of the video where I'm usually driving towards Burning Man, but I decided for road safety purposes this year and to mix it up a little bit, just to do it out, out here in Empire. So that's what's going on. 
Why? One, because I love the drive to Burning Man. The idea that I would have an annual pilgrimage to the desert um, seems so crazy for somebody who grew up just outside Glasgow in Scotland. So A, that for the drive up, and B, to contextualise all of the art by showing you what it's like before the gates open. So we're about to do that. We're going to go back into Burning Man before the gates are open and appreciate it that way. So uh, hang in there, we'll be back in there in a minute. Station. Look who it is for the third year running. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Let's go do some burning man. Right now. Let's go and run an ultra marathon. Come on. <laughs> okay, we've got started. If we start now, Woo! we won't wait till Tuesday. We'll catch up. We'll still win. No, let's go back. 31 more miles to go. This is like this is hard work in the dust because <laughs> it's very dusty and I'm not wearing goggles. Uh. <laughs> Friday morning and uh, you know we, we, we waited in line for about three hours last night um, we got in that was fine now Heidi is backing her trailer into the spot obviously we want her to do it successfully we don't want her to back the trailer into someone else's tent but we also want to make sure if she does back into someone else's tent that we have it on film right internet gold uh, anyway yeah it's dusty our next door neighbours, um, as I'm sure I'll go on in great length about later, are the Ca Caro de Foc. I don't know how to pronounce it, I should figure that out. Uh, the Spanish people who brought Euterpe, the marionette that I fell in love with last year. They're our neighbours this year, how cool is that? Do I finally get to be in one of your videos? Mark? Absolutely, Mike. Do you know what's better than having someone help you build something? Having someone film you build something because then you'll have a permanent record. That's true. Show me a mirror at Burning Man and I will show you a filming opportunity. What's going on here? Uh, I'm having paella, paella. Am I saying that right? Probably not. With my friends, my new friends from Caro de Foc, I'm probably saying that wrong as well, we have come from Spain with Euterpe, the greatest art project ever to grace Burning Man, um, and they invited me over for lunch. You can't say no to that. Welcome to Burning Man. Let's go do some Burning Man paella right now. See that box over there, somewhere? I helped them move it. That might be the hardest work I've ever done at Burning Man. I'm Laura Kimpton, the big word lady, and we're looking at ha ha, period, 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 or ha, ah, uh, ha, ah, uh, dot, dot, dot and uh, just decided to let people write in Sharpie what makes them laugh. So uh, the first one was, uh, I, I made mom because I'm dyslexic and I thought it'd be funny for uh, a dyslexic get, get known for big words. The next year I decided to do oink because um, I was a pig farmer and a pig, uh, the alpha pig oinks into her pigs every 60, 30 seconds. And I think she's saying, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay, to see if anybody's being eaten by a wolf. We did love, because we, I had two O's that I had to do another O, and I thought people would think it was too obvious, and it wasn't at all, people went crazy. I did believe, because my daughter was 13, starting to get into boys' cars and stuff, and as a mom, you just have to believe, you can't worry. And then the next year I did live, dream, be okay, because the same kind of stuff, having a teenager and just knowing that you have to just believe. 
And then the next year I did at earth hashtag home because it's always been my message. Before my big words, I did Celtic Forest, which was all about teaching people that we're not number one on earth. And last year I did XOXO and this year is ha ha period, period, period. And you get to write down what makes you laugh. As of being dyslexic, I'm, I'm very aware how words are so important to people. And so this is my first like texting, non-spelling, right? Using punctuation any way I want word. Mm. And I text this all the time. It's like, this is my signature text. So, um, so I can say something obnoxious and then I just go, ha ha, period, period, period. As an artist, you evolve and I make tons of other art. Like I made the 16 foot monkey last year that said be art on it. I make resin collages, I make oil paints. So I make art, I am art. That's what my be art is. Excellent. When people come up to me like, I want to be an artist. I'm like, just be an artist. I'm not an artist because I make product. I'm an artist because I'm an artist. At the risk of stating the obvious, do you know what makes me laugh? 24 hours of Burning Man. Um, thank you for indulging me. Um, thank you, Laura, for ha 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 dot 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 ha ha dot dot ha dot dot laughter just as Robert Plant said does anybody remember laughter I sure do and it's really but dusty and this is probably not going to make the final cut unless it does in which case hi I know you know we all know the ice cream for ice cream no that I am about to say have we talked about the sky yet today in terms of recording order this is the first time since I got here I've talked about the sky what do you think it looks like it looks yet again absolutely magnificent there's a lot of dust there's a sort of pinkish glow over there that the video camera never really quite captures but yes if you're playing along at home it's Friday of build week it's uh that much o'clock before sunset and the sky looks magnificent. Hey there, I've been practicing doing the cycling with one hands thing and I think I'm better at it than I was last year, which was to say I was terrible last year. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, haha, -ha! still pretty terrible. Let's try that one more time. Or let's tempt fate and not. <laughs> right, let's not try it a third time. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me, etc. Uh, the sky looks amazing, blah, blah, blah. See you later. Cheers. You're at Burning Man, you've seen something shoot fire. Achievement unlocked, tick that one off your bingo card. Oh, I'm just a, a art guy from China. <laughs> An art guy from China? Yeah, yeah. Um, and what is the, tell me about the piece. I, uh, just a few years ago, I started to the, you know, like blacksmiths uh -huh. making a real armor. And I have a lot of real armor by myself. But one day I think, why not? If I can make the real armor like a normal size, why not I can do some bigger one? And then I just make that. Yeah, have like, you been to Burning Man before? Nope. It's really first time. So what's your impression of being a Burning Man with art? I think here is just everything, right? You know, right now just my uh, second day in Burning Man, so I'm just uh, keeping, keeping feeling this area and feeling this uh, everything. Yeah. yeah. Is there and, and is there a name to the piece or a story behind the? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Desert Guard. Desert Guard. Yeah. Yeah. It's Excellent. a soldier. It's a warrior. So it's a Desert Guard. Yeah. If you're going to film yourself repeatedly at one mirror in Burning Man, 
Make it this mirror at Ebon Glow Village. Hi Leori. So we're putting up a photo booth and when I say we, I sort of include myself in, yeah, I include myself in that. I'm doing the all important job of documenting the photo booth going up. You know, that's, that's important too. Not as important as what they're doing, I get that, but important too. How's your Burning Man experience been so far? So far, so good. Excellent. Yeah, enjoying it. There's, I don't know if you can see that, there's dust billowing over there. But the point of this is, in 1999, my friends and I came to Burning Man. It was my third trip to Burning Man, and we built a light tunnel out of PVC and rebar and Christmas tree lights from the store and it was an incredible experience. Uh, we brought a ton of light diffracting glasses. The name of our camp was Magic Glasses Camp. We had a Magic Glasses tunnel. We had a line of people from the Esplanade out onto the playa waiting to come in to this rudimentary Burning Man light art. Now, light art has changed a lot at Burning Man since then. There's like programmable LEDs. There's incredible things that just blow the mind. Uh, but I am going to build a small, janky tribute version of our uh, Burning Man light, light Tunnel project in 2018. Um, bring Magic Glasses Camp back to the playa one last time. Hi, Ron. Uh, so I'm recording this now. I'm now going to attempt to hammer stuff into the, the playa. It's not building stuff at Burning Man is not my strong suit, and I don't have my camp my magic glasses campmates here to do it with me but they're here in spirit right guys right Catherine and Esther and Ali and Christy and everyone else um, and I'll name check more people later let's let's build a magic glasses light tunnel at Burning Man right now right then I have staff now building my tunnel for me this is perfect I can just stand here talking it's great welcome to Burning Man can you see who it is yet? Not me, her. Can you see who it is? This is me, Mayan Warrior, adjacent at the DMV. Hey, Han not you. Yes, it is. It's your higher self. It's, this is my highest <laughs> form of self-expression, talking into a video camera at Burning Man so I can watch myself later on TV and send myself messages. I, the message that I'm sending myself, Mark, is could you please go into your home office and tidy it up a bit? It's a bit of a mess right now. Ironically, I could post that at any time in the next couple of years and it's always going to be true. This has been me, Mind Warrior Adjacent, at the DMV Burning Man 2018. Is this the bit where you lie about your safety record? No, oh, we have uh, zero days since zero our last Zero days injury. since our last incident. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. the level. Hi, Lindsay, how there are you? There was that one incident we don't want to talk Pretty about. Pretty man, 2018. <laughs> Was that one incident when Do I just yell about? spring break just to finish it off? <laughs> <laughs> spring break! Spring break! <laughs> and then the skies cleared and he said, let there be registration. <laughs> this is Red Hot Beverly, the 12 foot in diameter, 30 foot long flame throwing fire extinguisher, of course. Because Burning Man needed a fire extinguisher that blew fire. We put out fire. What, using the power of brakes? <laughs> I believe this, is, does this Does this have music coming out of it? It does, it only plays brake beats. Right, you have a strict music policy. It's not a policy, it's just inherent to the car. It just happens that way. Right. I don't know why. Because nothing starts a fire like brakes. Exactly, brake beats is what you need. Excellent, thank you Marvin. <laughs> So 
So apparently Laura Kempton, the artist, says you can write on it what makes you laugh. So I, of course, wrote myself because I'm that self-absorbed. Oh, Mark. You know that bit where I talk about the sky? It's coming. Have you seen the sky yet? It looks absolutely amazing. Once again, I rest my case until I bring it up again. The sky at Burning Man, magnificent. Hey, hey, you see you what I'm doing right? here? <laughs> Why don't you take a look here? So we're creating a motion time lapse, so we'll uh, do this hyperlapse over the course of a couple of days. And you'll see the progress build before your eyes. And you're right about meal plan. I left my food back there, had somebody get my plate, and came out here to film. <laughs> I like the fact you have a drone pilot vest, presumably, so if you do anything that annoys people, they go, where's the drone pilot? He's easy to find. That's exactly why I have this. <laughs> exactly why. And here's the sun, just about to come into the shot. Oh hey, it's you. It's Sunday night. It was dust stormy as all heck earlier. But guess what, it's cleared up and guess what the sky looks like. The sky looks magnificent as the sun sets over the DMV line. 24 hours of Burning Man 2018. Ah, there we go. Magical. Look who we ran into at Burning Man. What are the odds? What are the odds? Well, I guess Burning Man is both her and my natural environment, so there's that. I want to go for a walk. Yeah. Would you come with me? Yeah. yeah. He's a little bit sleepy because he's old. And you know, jet lag from the outer space. But tomorrow, hopefully, we'll go for a walk together. Okay, so this just in, I thought the sky looked magnificent earlier, and it did. But it looks even more magnificent now. It's hard to hit this. So I don't know if you saw my video from last year, but I kind of fell in love with this art project. It was so moving and beautiful to have this girl, Euterpe, come to learn about Earth uh, from being a Burning Man. And the amazing thing is she's back. And the amazing thing is she's brought her grandfather. And the really amazing thing is tomorrow, I'm going to be the grandfather. I can't explain how excited I am about this, but it's very, 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 very exciting. And I'm, I couldn't have asked for a better start to my burning man. Mon ami. Nice to see you too. So here we are going down the sonic runway while there's still space to do that. 
I mean, it's good, but you know, it's not the only light tunnel at Burning Man. And I'm, I quite like the other light tunnel that I saw slash made at Burning Man. But let's hear it for both of them. Let's hear it for both the Sonic Runway and the Magic Glasses Tunnel, AKA the Super Sonic Runway. All right, catch you later, cheers. Hi Gloria, I mean Duterte. How is your uh, how's your Burning Man been so far? Mm, my Burning Man is great. Just landed yesterday. We just landed. Yeah. And today we are taking our first walk here around. Um, all the installations are almost done. So maybe we are the first one to see some of them just completed, which is quite exciting. Uh, in any case, we are here, the two of us which is already pretty amazing, so. I'm trying to get into character as an old man, which as you may imagine is really hard for me because I'm only 23. <laughs> <laughs> So, it wouldn't be 24 hours at Burning Man without me reviewing the, the line for ice. How long? The line for ice. How long is the line for ice currently? It's as long as you want it to be, but not very long. Let's look. It's actually very short. And, Quite short. And as somebody who regularly critiques the line for ice, I don't really know what to do with that. I'm Say thank you and get some ice. Get some ice. I've already said no to ice today. It's this my is a yes place. This is a yes place. And I believe in you. I believe in you. You believe my ability to get... I believe in you so much. Someone, You're so prepared. Look at this. Someone else in camp was going for ice and they said, do you want ice? And I said, no. <laughs> what kind of Wrong idiocy answer. is that? Wrong, Wrong answer. answer. All right, that was, the, that was this year's review of the line for ice. It's a wonderful place. Please come back and see us. This is a pretty good dust storm. Not an exceptional dust storm, a fairly average dust storm for the week, but still a dust storm at Burning Man. You're not videotaping right now, are you? No. <laughs> yes. What are the what, what what is going on here? Huh? Is what is this this, this protecting? Is this it, is protecting me from the dust. Uh huh. I'm having a spa day at Burning Man. It's spectacular. <laughs> My name is Rama. I am eating a veggie dog with relish, sauerkraut, sprouts, mustard, and ketchup. In a whole wheat bun. Sprouts at <laughs> Burning Man. What will they think of next? <laughs> Cucumber water colonic irrigation, probably. You should try it, you'll love it. Citizens of Black Rock City! We are your lamplighters! For 24 years, we have lit this city without fail. And tonight, we once again fulfill our sacred purpose. To you, we offer three gifts. The first gift is illumination! And the third gift is celebration! Lampliners! Let's light this city! Check this dust in.
we do ice runs uh, at 9 o'clock we start. So if you're not up giving us your money, making your order, you're going to miss it. So we're not going to hang out and, and wait for you. So if you don't make the ice run, it's not a problem. Ice is around the corner, so you just have to wait in line yourself. But it's $4 a bag. You can ask for cube or block. It's most likely there's a pack. Thank you. Thank you. Big head does not fit. Um, <laughs> this was found in our camp for early entry. I'm doing daily sweeps and collecting what I find throughout the day. The only thing that disappointed me the most in this is there were a couple cigarette butts. A couple cigarette butts in our camp just cannot happen. If you're a smoker, contain your butts. Don't let that stuff get away. Now, we have an issue. We've got the portos there. We're going to have stuff blowing in our camp constantly. So be vigilant and collect that stuff up. Keep it collected and take it home. Thank you. Yes, the intent here is this is a ceremony of greeting. You'll be paying attention to every person you greet. Please do this silently. If you start hugging people, it will break down and it will take forever. This way it will take five minutes and we'll go out and take our beautiful picture and have a beautiful time on the playa. Ah, fuck your bird. I'm thankful that I have discovered the meaning of life through Burning Man. Uh, for me, it's uh, human relationships. And I didn't realize that that should be the focus. When you have quality human relationships, everything else is in abundance in your life. I, what a gift that I discovered that in my 40s. Some people never figure it out. Like, yay! Burning Man is like being on in a dream on another planet. And uh, it's also, it attracts the most creative, intelligent people in the world. And just to be like around those people, I, I'm so inspired. And, and I see these art pieces that I never would have thought of, but I've created art that amazes myself now. And uh, as a matter of fact, just this year, I, I did my first big art piece for our regional. It was an 11-foot butterfly. And um, my friends encouraged me. And I come out here and I see 100-foot sculptures. And I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to figure that out? But we'll get there. Just to set the goal, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you, Burning Man. daily update on the sky at Burning Man. How does the sky look at Burning Man? Oh look, it's my old friend Euterpe and her grandfather. So the sky, once again, looks absolutely magnificent, as does my evening at Burning Man. Amazing. Thank you. 
Alright, this year's edition of me going down slides more for your benefit than mine. Here we go. Going down slides more for your benefit than mine, six in the morning edition. Here we go. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. almost wiped out, didn't wipe out. Nice mark, what that? Nice work, Mark. I guess that was exhilarating. Right then, this is the 12 o'clock corner of the trash fence. It is a corner we have effectively, it's a peak basically. So if you're at the trash fence at six in the morning, you have reached peak Burning Man. This is peak Burning Man. We can go home now. Oh no, wait, we can't. It's still only Tuesday. So this year I decided to run the ultra marathon. It's exhausting, this is look too, but if I put my mind to it and I try really hard, I think I can do it. Burning Man sky update. The sky at 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning looks absolutely. Those, you hear all those people whooping for the sky, they're actually whooping for the ultra marathon runners. Me, I'm whooping for the sky. Woohoo, nice work, sky. Keep it up. So I got out of bed for that. Yes, I did, and it was actually pretty good. Glad I did it. Thanks, Tom, for the tip. Right, I am going to escape from my jacket in front of a balloon. Not quite as exciting, but... It's a little scary in here, but we are inside and we're only inside because there was no line to get in. Because as we all know, I don't do lines at Burning Man, except for that hot dog. Why would I stand in line for a hot dog and not art? I'm not sure, but there you go. Would you like to come into my home? Why? Um, it is a beautiful thing from the outside and I want to stay away from the inside. 
Everyone wants to see what it looks like on the inside. It's a beautiful morning and I want to stretch my legs. Would you let me in? It's a small house. Burning Man, um, I, everyone goes 10 principles, whatever. For me, it's radical inclusion and radical self-expression. When I found the community, I was agoraphobic. I would not walk into a corner grocery store that I had never been to before because that was too much. My world was very, very small and I didn't know how to live in it. The Burning Man community brought me in and accepted me and taught me that it was okay to to be me, whatever that meant. I didn't even know what that meant at the time. And radical expression just embraced it so hard because I could be as like gigantically huge as I wanted to be and I still wasn't gonna be the craziest person that I knew. I wasn't even gonna be the craziest person at any given party that I went to. And so yeah, I got to become myself and because I got to become myself, I got to meet people who wanted me in their lives who are still my friends to this day. And I'm thankful for those friends because they allowed me to become me. And I'm no longer an extra, I'm, I'm now the biggest extrovert on the planet and no longer agoraphobic. Thank you, Burning Man. <laughs> This guy today, it's amazing. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Let's do some Burning Man right now. Let's go to Burning Man right now. Let's go do some Burning Man. Oh, ready? To take three. Let's go do some Burning Man right now. Snow cone. Get your free snow cone at the Lost Penguin Cafe. We have wonderful flavors like alien. Urine sample, Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster, and much more. No Welcome to the Penguins. Happy burn! How many years have you been doing the snow cones at this point? Uh, I have been doing snow cones for 10 years with the Penguin. This is my 10th burn. And the Penguins have been here for 21 years. I'm about to have a snow cone. Snow cone, please. Do you have a cup? Oh crap, no, I have my hand. Would that work? Uh, is this a, yeah, I didn't think this through. Time. Perfect, thank you, but note to self, next time bring your own cup. Right, kids? Okay, so good. Got the uh, blues jamming in the background to go with my blue snow cone. Welcome to Idiots vs Gravity Shop Till You Drop edition and by drop I really mean drop. I'm really only including this in case somebody so badly injures themselves on the giant automobile shish kebab that I can't use the footage. So this is kind of my backup. Uh, let's hope no one falls off over this but let's watch just in case. And there comes the dust. Bye. Okay, it's uh, Wednesday night. And we're going to a ballet, and once again, the sky looks, if I may dare say so, absolutely magnificent. Waiting for the ballet to start, sky update. While we're waiting, the sky looks, once again, magnificent. See for yourself. of choreography 
Beaufort Art House. And last burn, I had the opportunity to choreograph We Human, which is a piece that we presented at the Orb with uh, 12 musicians and about 25 dancers set to Steve Reich's Eight Lines. It was a piece that involved a physical mantra that uh, incorporated dancers who had all range of skill levels, and it was just really fun to see so many different dancers coming together to create this experience for others in the burn. Uh, so on Tuesday afternoon, we were rehearsing We Human at the Art House Camp. We had all the musicians and dancers there. Uh, it was a long, hot day in the, in the sun, getting ready for our performance the next day, and that night I had the opportunity to perform a solo with one of the cellists in the Art House group uh, at the Sun of Runway, and we were performing to a Bach cello partita, and at the end of the performance, uh, I slid to the ground, and um, for reasons that I don't quite understand, my heart stopped. When um, my friends and candidates came up and told me about Robert, they were like, something happened, it's pretty intense, and I immediately, I don't know if it's just because of the place or because of what I believe in who we are and human connection, I, I immediately just was like, I know Robert's gonna be okay. Luckily, there was a doctor in the audience who started to give me CPR while one of my campmates left and went to find a medic who just happened to be walking around in deep playa with defibrillators in his hand, no less. Um, and he brought him back to the Sonic Runway, gave me a good shock, and they uh, called the Rangers and brought me to the hospital in Black Hawk City and ended up putting me on a helicopter uh, and taking me to Reno. So right when Robert was being airlifted off, I, I had to figure out a way to get to the hospital, so I ended up getting in a car, but the last thing I said to my friends and the other people that were in the show, I was like, tomorrow you're going to dance and you're going to do it for Robert. I woke up about 24 hours later. Uh, I remember waking up and looking at the clock in the hospital room. It was around 7.50, uh, which I would later find was right around when the performance of We Human ended. Um, the piece was all about interconnectedness, about the shared energy that we have and the power that the collective can create. We are in this place called Burning Man, this magical place that has a very uh, interesting energetic uh, feel, I feel. Um, so many of the dancers and musicians told me that as they were performing the work, they were thinking about me and sending their energy to me. And the piece ends with everyone coming together from the circle and lifting up one dancer. Um, and I really think that they sent uh, energy and power and life to me and um, woke me up in Reno. And, um, and I feel so very blessed to be here. And I know that it's because of the power of intention and of shared energy and this uh, potential that we all have to impact one another. Uh, with our hearts and our, and our spirits uh, in ways that we can't ever explain in the physical world.
Oh, hey, it's me again, and you, Terpy, again. And today, finally, we get to go walk about. I am very excited, and Burning Man is very magnificent. Count down to this. Hello, my friends. We are discovering Burning Man together. You should come and discover with us. I like your red hat. I would wear a hat like that if it was available in my size. Come walk with us on the playa. We're going on an adventure. Grandpa, the secret note I told you about is true. Wow. Burning Man Sky Report Alberto edition. I'm a Burning Man, it's just after sunset. I've been doing the voice of the grandfather for a while and it has been absolutely amazing, as has the sky. I'm doing this more for your benefit than my own. I'm kidding, I'm doing it for me. Me! I know.
Burning Man 10 update 2018. To say my tent is a disaster would be unfair to disasters. Catch you later. Probably talking about the sky. It's probably going to be magnificent. But we should probably check, right? Let's not make assumptions. Let's check. All let's right. go do some Burning let's Man. Let's go do some Burning Man right now. No, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm too high. One, two, three. Let's, let's go, go do, do some, some Burning Man. man. As they used to say in the original dating game, make some fucking noise! Yeah! We're gonna have three lucky slash desperate contestants sitting here. <laughs> so there will be some losers, and make sure when they leave, you call them a loser. <laughs> Please welcome Ben! Yeah! Ben is from Plyos... I can't even pronounce that, Ben, you're going to have to... Pliosophy. Pliosophy, he's a pliosopher. Greg has worked on the Burning Man census, so he knows how you got here if you filled in a form. <laughs> Please welcome our bachelorette, the lucky lady who gets to choose between these three prime specimens of Black Rock City manhood. Please welcome Energizer. Burning Man project she has worked on, The Temple, the funniest of all Burning Man projects. Lots of jokes about that, but I'll save them for later. <laughs> Favourite place on Playa, Swish and Unicorn. Oh, yeah. I think we have a, a local contestant. <laughs> what kind of person are you looking for? Likes to dance, bass music, mm. goes to festivals. But remember, Burning Man's not a festival, except when it is. Could have won a speedboat, perhaps. <laughs> and contestant number two, could you please come over? Contestant number two to Tuesday two. That's six, maybe. I'm not good at math. <laughs> and now, what you've been waiting for? What all this is about? Come on, everybody. Hopefully, she's going to be excited. So, would you like to tell me what the sky looks like at Burning Man today? It's beautiful. It's marvelous. It's spectacular. It is so. Oh, you can't. There's no words to explain how good the sky looks. It may sound cheesy, but I'm, I'm thankful for my wife every day. She's brought a whole new meaning to my world and the way and the way I look at things. And she's there. She's just my biggest support.
Pretty man, uh, mostly a uh, non-judgmental uh, acceptance place. It's uh, it's so freeing. Yeah, there's no constraints of the of the the default world, and no time clocks. You just just come and be yourself and do whatever you feel like doing uh, within reason. I am thankful for meeting someone who has changed my entire life from what it was to utter happiness. I couldn't be more lucky to have such a wonderful man in my life. That's what I'm thankful for. Burning Man is the, the most amazing place to find people who truly accept you as you are. They make you feel so good about yourself that I wish more people could actually come here and experience it because no one, you can't explain this feeling of walking up, waking up and hugging somebody or welcoming them into your camp, providing something that they need just because. Not being able to really buy anything, or gifting everything and being self-reliant. It's very dusty, and I'm about to be a giant space grandfather. Sky update, what do you think? Go on, you can do it. The sky looks, I'll just do the sky looks, absolutely. And it'll leave a blank, and you can fill in the blank as, as however you wish. We're a burning man, and the sky looks not bad. the sky look? It's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brad Hogarth and I'm the music director and conductor for the Art House Collective. We are a performing arts organization that does everything from fully staged ballets to small chamber music centered around really interesting art installations at Burning Man. In 2017, our first production was Stravinsky's Rite of Spring underneath the Tree of Tenere. And in 2018, we couldn't really decide what we wanted to do, so we actually did three different productions. Pictures at an Exhibition is a piece by Mazorsky, which depicts 10 different pictures at an art gallery. We thought this was the perfect opportunity to feature that many artists that are already at Burning Man. Burning Man's already an exhibition of itself uh, with performers and art installations, so it made a perfect pairing. Tozer wrote this piece based on pictures that he saw in a museum. Each movement represents a different picture. This is so fitting for the playa because all of Burning Man is like a giant art museum.
Burning Man snow cone report. This is my second snow cone of the week. It's delicious. This is my new friend, insert your name here. Sarah. We've just tried <laughs> putting hot sauce on snow cones. And the verdict is, it's not a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea, but... it's but not me a good idea we, either. No, no, we put way too much oh. on. It's bracing. I mean, one one or two drips would have been fine, yes. but six or seven, I mean, that was excessive. My mouth is on fire. Yes. <laughs> Hot sauce snow cones. We've invented a new thing at Burning Man. <laughs> Congratulations to us. Cheers to Can us. Can we patent this? <laughs> We're going to be rich. Tabasco. Tabasco. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Enjoy Tabasco brand Tabasco at Burning Man. Cheers. Wait. Oh, hey, it's you! It's you! Did you have to have your arm twisted to do Look this? Look at me, I aren't... See, you know, you know how much I hate megaphoning. <laughs> no, one more time! <laughs> they could do it, they could do it, I believe in you. Nice. Whoa! You know, that's that's what I look for, a little air conditioning, a little swamp cooler action that actually works. Okay, contestant number two, go say hello to our lovely bachelorette, Susan. Great. And now, finally, the moment you've been waiting for, contestant number one, go meet your love of your life. Our three, three. It's the mad, mad dating game, people, mad. Weddings at Burning Man. I hope someone packed hankies. <laughs> of the Bellagio and some lightsabers had a baby, I think it would look a bit like this. Uh oh, things are getting a bit weird in here. Hi. Hi. Who's there? My name's Chewie. Hi Chewie's friend. Hi. How are you? Good. This is Lena. Hi Lena. Hi. You have to be visible when it gets bright oh, and then it gets dark again. Nice. You want some oatmeal cookies? Um, I wouldn't say no. I, I raced out of camp without having any dinner. So yes.
perform Terry Riley's indeterminate minimalistic piece in C, uh, which is a piece for any number of musicians and any instrumentation. And we really wanted to invite all instruments and all musicians to come perform with us. When we realized that there was a group called Fold House, we thought it was really cute if Fold House would collaborate with Art House. And we saw that they're creating this big, beautiful installation called Radiolumia. So as the sun rose on Friday morning, um, we began our performance of NC and the, the piece um, Radio Lumia started to slowly fluctuate with our music and then as the sound really built up and as the movement um, got further further along um, there became more interaction with the piece. Have you seen the sky? It looks amazing. Let's go do some Burning Man right now. Let's just pause and look at the sky. Amazing, isn't it? Right then, it's Friday night and everything is magnificent. There are too many magnificent no. things to list. No, no, so now seems as good a time as any to figure out what's the story. I guess on some level the story is that I got to participate in my favourite Burning Man art thing. I mean, my second favourite after our Magic Glasses Tunnel, obviously. But other than that, my favourite Burning Man art project, um, Euterpe. I got to be Euterpe's grandfather and perform and build a rapport with and talk to and converse with. And it was amazing. And I don't know how to process that. I don't have a big takeaway from that for you other than all sorts of amazing things are possible. But. Here's the story I wanted to tell for now, before this music kicks in. I have two friends, I'll call them Heidi and Amy, because that's their names. And they came to Burning Man with many amazing and creative projects and ideas. They have an art car. They had a high school prom in our camp. And they did three episodes of the game show, The Dating Game. For the first episode, I helped them host it and I had a lot of fun doing that. For the second episode, they had someone else help them host it and I'm sure they had a lot of fun doing that. For the third episode, unfortunately I think someone cancelled on them and they had to do it themselves. And I saw them do it and it was amazing. And afterwards they said to me, oh hey, we, see, we could do this without you. And I got to look them in the eye and say, you know, you always could. And that's my big takeaway from Burning Man this year. Burning Man's an amazing place to come to and figure out stuff that you always could do, but you just didn't know it. Or you just had a few obstacles you needed to get out of the way. Or you just needed a place to go where you could do this thing you always wanted to do. So, Burning Man, a great place to find out what you always could do. That's my big takeaway for this year.
Um, this has been 24 hours at Burning Man. This has been an amazing Burning Man. Um, I'll see you for the drive home. Bye. Oh hey, it's you! I didn't know if you would make it to the end of the video and I didn't want to start the end credits without you, but you're here now and that's all that matters. Uh, as you probably worked out by the fact that I just said it, uh, this is the end of 24 Hours at Burning Man 2018. Uh, except, of course, based on the fact that we're standing in line, all of the stuff that you just saw hasn't happened yet. Um, I'm waiting in line in the magnificent Black Rock Desert. Uh, to go in there to Burning Man. It's going to be amazing uh, and thank you for everybody who in the future and the past now made it amazing. Uh, I'm doing this in sections because I keep having to move my car. Oh, actually that lane's moving, our lane isn't. Oh and the wind's coming up now which is probably making a terrible noise. So I'm going to get back in the car and I might splice this together from various takes of me talking. But anyway, Burning Man hasn't happened yet except you've just seen it all. You've seen more of it than I have at this point. I'm now in a dust storm I should probably stop recording bye and now I'm really just filling time while the credits roll uh, but also taking a moment to uh, thank everybody who made my Burning Man experience awesome and uh, if I used some of your footage in this video and you're not in the credits I'm really sorry I'm very disorganized um, but thank you anyway, you're the number one person I'd like to thank and also everybody else who made this uh, an incredibly collaborative process. Uh, thanks to all my friends, thanks to everybody in camp, thanks to everybody who said hi, um, thanks above all to Esther and Camly and Ruby, my family who stayed at home while I did all of this. Uh, I appreciate it and I love you all so much. Uh, I don't how much more time do I have to kill? Uh, again, not there's other people going to Burning Man yet. Their Burning Man hasn't happened either. Hopefully they'll also have an awesome Burning Man. Um, so yeah, this has been 24 Hours at Burning Man. 2018 and 2019. Uh, my twin, I first went to Burning Man 21 years ago, as I said last year. Um, hopefully uh, you can see why I keep coming back. Hopefully I'm about to uh, discover yet again why I keep coming back. I haven't got there yet, but I'm going to get there in a minute. Um, and that's it. Thanks for coming for the ride. Um, cheers. Bye. I, I don't have a good wrap up for this. Uh, yeah, that's it. Roll, cr cut credits. The credits are now over. Unless I need more space, in which case the credits are still rolling. Bye. So it's Saturday night. I'm at a friend's house watching the Burning Man web stream. I'm not at Burning Man. Either all those amazing things actually happened, or it was all just a crazy dream. <gasps> and cut.
Yes, you have Clive. a job to do. Okay, I'm What's okay. your job? Uh, to document the fact that we are yet again at Home Depot. No. Get gas. Yeah. Dear Magic Glasses Camp, we were given a couple of pairs of your glasses. Thank you. We were wondering if you could spare any more. We at Flight to Mars have an excellent light tunnel ourselves, and we believe it to be Magic Glasses worthy. Any consideration on this would be greatly appreciated. Come by and dance with us. Your friends, Flight to Mars, 2 o'clock, and Enlightenment. And it's written on someone's houseplants. Bookmark and Sunkist. It's product placement. This video has been brought to you courtesy of the Sunkist Corporation. Sunkistsoda.com and the uh, ball soft drink. When you're in the desert, nothing goes down better than a tasty orange Sunkist soda. Yum yum. Your magic glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has changed my life.